Reconfiguration Laws General Let's now describe the reconfiguration laws. These laws will occur during some equipment failures and abnormal flight conditions. There are five reconfiguration laws. Alternate law with reduced protections. Alternate law without reduced protections. Abnormal attitude law. Direct law. Mechanical backup. Electronic Flight Control Computers, or EFCS, reconfiguration. During the reconfiguration laws, one or more of the seven EFCS computers, five pitch and roll control computers, and two yaw control computers can control the flight controls as follows. Pitch and roll computers. ELAC 1 and 2. Either one can control the elevators, stabilizer, and ailerons. SEC 1 and 2. Either one can control the elevators, stabilizer, and assigned roll spoilers. And SEC 3. Can control the assigned roll spoilers, but not pitch. Yaw computers. FAC 1 and 2. Either one can control the rudder trim and yaw damping. In order to have alternate law capability, at least one of the pitch and roll computers must be operating, and the assigned servo jacks must have hydraulic and electrical control power available. The available computers will direct the system to reconfigure to alternate law if the inputs to the computers are insufficient to support normal law. Automatic stabilizer trim is available during alternate law. Depending on the failure, the autopilot may be available until three seconds after the landing gear is down. Three of the five reconfiguration laws, alternate law with reduced protections, alternate law without reduced protections, and abnormal attitude law, are all variations of alternate law. When we speak of alternate law, we are addressing the pitch axis only, because while in the reconfiguration laws, the roll axis will always be in direct law if side stick input is available to the roll control surfaces. The yaw axis will have alternate yaw damping if yaw damping capability is available, but turn coordination will be lost. For alternate law, the speed protections are similar to the normal law speed protection, but can be exceeded. The normal law speed protections are replaced by alternate law low speed and high speed protections. These protections require additional side stick input to exceed the protection. Pitch attitude, bank angle, and high angle of attack protections are all lost and not replaced by a protection. The load factor limitation in alternate law is similar to that under normal law. Alternate law with reduced protections. We'll first describe alternate law with reduced protections. Differences for alternate law without reduced protections and abnormal attitude laws will be discussed later. Alternate law with reduced protections has three modes for three phases of flight. These phases of flight are flight, flare, and ground. The modes will be discussed next in the expected sequence of the phases of flight, beginning with the flight mode. Flight mode. In the flight mode, during manual flight in alternate law, the amount of side stick displacement determines pitch rate and follows a load factor demands law as normal law does. But it has less built-in protection, reduced protections, with no high angle of attack or pitch attitude protections. There is no alternate lateral control mode, so the roll mode will change to the roll direct law with no bank angle protection. 
A pitch alternate law side stick authority is reduced as the aircraft approaches stall warning speed, V stall warning for low speed stability because the EFCS will command nose down and bank angle compensation for constant alpha. Similarly, side stick authority is reduced as the aircraft approaches maximum operating speed, VMO, or maximum operating Mach, Mach MO, for high speed stability because the EFCS will command nose up. These stabilities assist the pilot in keeping the aircraft within the normal regime of flight, but can be overridden by side stick input. The next couple of frames will describe the low speed and high speed stability in more detail. Low speed stability is available for all flat flap configurations and is active from plus 5 knots to plus 10 knots above VSW. VSW is a function of both gross weight and flat flaps configuration. The side stick authority is reduced by a gentle progressive nose down signal that is introduced, which tends to keep the speed from falling below these values. The system also injects bank angle compensation, so that operation effectively maintains a constant angle of attack. The pilot can override these demands. In addition, audio stall warnings are activated at a margin above stall speed, VS and the PFD speed scale is modified to display a black-red barber pole below VSW. High speed stability is available above VMO or MMO. The side stick authority is reduced when a nose-up demand is introduced to avoid an excessive increase in speed. The pilot can override this demand. In addition, the aural overspeed warning remains available. Flare mode. In pitch alternate law, the flight mode changes to the flare mode when the pilot selects landing gear down. The flare mode is a direct stick to elevator relationship. Ground mode. Alternate ground mode operation is identical to normal law ground mode and becomes active on the ground after touchdown. Transition from ground mode to flight mode is not normal, but if it is necessary to go around after touchdown, the aircraft will transition to the flight mode after the landing gear is up. Alternate law without reduced protection differences. When operating an alternate law without reduced protections, Low speed and high speed protection are lost. All other features, protections, and modes are identical to alternate law with reduced protections. These speed protections are lost if there is not at least one SFCC slap channel input and two reliable airspeed sources available to the active EFCS. Abnormal attitude laws differences. When operating an abnormal attitude law, the low speed and high speed protections are lost. All other features, protections, and modes are identical to alternate law with reduced protections, except there is no reversion to direct law when the landing gear is extended. This feature is to ensure full control authority during upset and is not recoverable until after landing. The system applies this abnormal attitude law in pitch and roll if the aircraft exceeds any of these limits in flight. Direct law. Roll direct law applies to both alternate and direct laws. Roll direct law is in effect during alternate law. It is a direct stick to surface position relationship and identical to the roll direct law for direct pitch law operation. System gains are set automatically to correspond to slap flap configuration. With the aircraft in the clean configuration, 
the maximum roll rate is 30 degrees per second, twice the normal law, 15 degrees per second. And with slats extended, it is 25 degrees per second. To limit roll rate, the roll direct law uses only ailerons and two roll spoilers. If the spoiler or the ailerons have failed, other roll spoilers become active. Bank angle protection is not provided. Alternate law, yaw. Only the yaw damping function is available if a computer and the corresponding hydraulic power and actuator are available. Damper authority is limited to plus or minus 5 degrees rudder deflection. Rudder trim may be available. Direct law pitch. To have direct law capability, at least one of the pitch and roll computers must be operating and the assigned servo jacks must have hydraulic and electrical control power available. The available EFCS will direct the system to reconfigure to direct law if the inputs to the EFCS are insufficient to support normal law or alternate law. There are no protections and only manual stabilizer trim is available during direct law. Direct law, yaw. Yaw turn coordination and yaw damping are lost. Yaw inputs are through the rudder pedals. Rudder trim may be available. Mechanical backup. Mechanical backup control is available if all EFCS computers are lost. With mechanical backup control, the roll control can be maintained by using the interconnected rudder pedals and the pitch control can be maintained by use of the interconnected trimmable horizontal stabilizer or THS trim wheels. This operation is provided as a backup control until one or more EFCS computers can be reset.